Welcome to the first video on SolidWorks. This is just a brief introduction to the software. Uh, it's important that you understand that SolidWorks is a three-dimensional solid modeling software. Uh, originally, we used to use a lot of CAD programs, which is computer-aided drafting and design, um, but a lot of them drew in just two-dimensional space. However, programs like SolidWorks allow us to draw three in three-dimensional space, making solid objects from which we can make two-dimensional plans such as orthographic representations of our parts. We can use SolidWorks to make simple, single parts like this part that we're going to be making for the lathe. We can use parts to make what are called assemblies. Assemblies are made up of a series of parts to make up an object. This is a simple assembly of a bike rack involving a, a series of parts that were created individually. And then we can use either our parts or assemblies to go ahead and develop drawings that can actually be printed and used to create whatever parts or um, assemblies we have um, created using the SolidWorks software. SolidWorks is an incredibly huge software package. And it's not just limited to uh, drawing our parts, but we can also run virtual tests on these parts. For example, here is a test that was run on um, a front end for an electric vehicle we were making. And what it did is it applied forces and shows at what point this piece of material will deflect and fail. Uh, we can also make molds. We could do um, flow diagrams and uh, for aerodynamics and uh, hydrodynamics so this is a this is an incredibly um, vast software package in this class we're just going to scratch the surface and use it for creating some simple parts that we are going to in turn um, program into our cnc lathe the layout of the program obviously in this open area here is where my part is going to be created at any time, I can zoom my screen to fit this object or zoom to an area in which I draw a window to go ahead and zoom in on. I can rotate this part at any time by rotating the view, and now I can just click and drag. I can also select which view I would like to see from top, uh, left, front, right, back, bottom, so you can see as I toggle through my views here, I'm going to be looking at different ends of this part. I'm going to go back to a trimetric view. Um, on the left-hand side of the screen is called our design tree. This design tree is going to um, house all of our planes that we're going to be drawing on, as well as the origin and any features that we create. Now this is a simple revolved part with a single sketch but we can go back and edit any given part from our design tree. If you were to get into assemblies, such as this bike rack, in our design tree houses all of the different pieces that we use to make up this assembly. And we can edit each one of those parts individually if necessary. Back to our lathe part here. Across the top is our features menu as well as our sketch menu. These are the two primary menus that we're gonna be using to create our parts in SOLIDWORKS. Um, each three-dimensional part is going to be made up of a sketch. A sketch is a two typically a two-dimensional drawing that we then take and either revolve or do what's called extruding, which is essentially stretching it out into three-dimensional three space. Under features, uh, we can, there are a whole bunch of options. Some of these are applied to um, solid parts that are already existing. Others require a sketch to be created in order to draw um, it, or in order to create that feature. So in our first actual lesson, we're going to take a look at creating sketches um, that we can go ahead and revolve to create a round part for um, that can be generated on a lathe. 